earplugs uh, this week. Kick Tail, the World Trotting Derby winner in straight heats. Trade balance of $45,000 supplemental. Bossler, Hanover, a long shot. Exactitude, apparently wasn't getting a hold of the track last week. Stormont Bronze, he's a Canadian invader. Conway Hall, he's become more aggressive since returning from Europe. And then long shot in Durain. Well, Muscles Yankee won the Hamiltonian this year, and we're taking a look at the odds for the three-year-old Colton Gelding Trot, the entry of Silver Pond, and Muscles Yankee for trainer Chuck Sylvester there, four to five. Trade balance, the Kentucky Futurity winner, is eight to five, and Conway Hall, the horse is pretty much they're the main contenders here, all getting some play. Conway Hall is at nine to two. And trade balance won one of the very first major events of the season, the Dexter Cup for Dash to that turn. So it doesn't really matter, Kenny, at this point. If you've got an outside post, you really got a shot to get a good spot. Once again, for the final time, up to Roger Houston. Three-year-old True Otters are in behind the gate. The gate swings down the chute, and here they come. They're up and trotting on the inside. It's kick tail going for the lead with a lot of trot. Silver Pine on the outside, second, Conway Hall racing, third, trade balances off stride. Down the backside, Muscles Yankee gets away, fourth, Bosler Hanover, fifth, racing six, exact to two, racing seventh, in the rain. Trade balance back, trotting and trading the field, Stormont Bronze, opening quarter in 27 and one. Up on the outside, Conway Hall to take the lead from Kicktail. Silver Pine racing third, Muscles Yankee racing fourth, as they race into the turn, go on to the halfway point. Bosler Hanover fifth, racing six, exactitude at the half. 55 and three, 28 and two, second quarter. And on the move on the outside, Bosler Hanover, Muscles Yankee is off stride. Around the turn, it's Conway Hall with the lead. Now Muscles Yankees moving on the outside. Now second and coming back. Racing third, kick tail. Fourth on the outside. That's exact to two. It's Conway Hall. Muscles Yankee closing on the outside with kick tail. Racing down the stretch. Bosler Hanover in the rain fifth. Muscles Yankee powers up on the outside. Conway Hall second. Kick tail third. And down the stretch they come. Muscles Yankee. Yankee the leader, Conway Hall second, kick tail, exactitude between horses, coming to the wire, it's all Muscles, Yankee! One, 53! So Muscles, Yankee has done it. A couple of anxious moments there for driver John Campbell, as you heard announcer Roger Houston say that Muscles Yankee was briefly off stride, but Campbell gets them together, comes on to win it, and he looked very, very strong in 153. That is a new Breeders' Crown Stakes record. We'll take a look back as they're coming to the finish. Well, as we heard, Roger Houston said that he had made a bobble as uh, John Campbell pulled him off the rail, but here he is in command. Conway Hall is a well-beaten second at this point. John Campbell looking around as Muscles Yankee gets a, a little leg weary, but that's understandable. His uh, trainer, Chuck Sylvester, said he was back in Hamilton form and now he's the divisional champion. Coltrot now official. Muscles Yankee the winner overtaking Conway Hall coming down the lane. Exactitude finished third. There you see the exacta and trifecta payoffs in our final race.